my from my perspective, what you're saying, you're telling me is that you're gonna go in there intelligently, you're gonna put him where he's the weakest at, and basically make it easy, make it look real easy. Do you think that's credited to your? I'm not. I'm not talking the, about even just. I'm talking about striking. Oh, you gonna knock him out? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, not, I, I, gotta I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta shut his, I gotta shut his, him, uh, him. So, Paula, I, I bought the T-shirt, but uh, when it uh, came in, the the T was missing. Oh, think, think for why, for what my my shirt. But <laughs> no problem, no problem. What, what's happened? So, when I opened the package, for some reason, one of the letters was missing. Is now your name is Paulo Costa. You're not Paulo Costa anymore. The T right here no, the, 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 didn't came with the shirt. No, it's missing. It didn't come with the shirt. But this is your problem. It's not my problem. Now, the only thing I need for for replace this is some secret juice. That's what I need. <laughs> Laura is a, a unicorn for the UFC, right? That's why they love her. That's why Zach Candido puts her on so many on so many jobs. Because how many of us that do this can do color commentary, can do the desk job, post and pre-fight show, can do sideline reporting, can do interviews backstage. Oh, also has a great personality, can go do the weigh-in show with DC and hold her own against former champions while they're drinking beer in a very guy-orientated environment and hold her own. She could do all these jobs and hang with everybody. She's like a utility knife of this type of job. They could put her anywhere and she'll be able to do a great job. That's why she's always constantly on TV because she can do it all. She really can. Uh, but yeah, I get to you know select few people come in here and spar with me. I got Corey Sandhagen, Josh Marsh, and Austin Hubbard were my main three people that I went with today. They all have very similar. Um, they're all super you know awkward in a way and um, different timing. Um, they, they fight really tall, um, similar to what, what we see we're going to see in the Max Holloway fight. So it's nice to be able to you know um, kind of base everything around you know what we're gonna what we're gonna see in the fight We love the UFC coming to Britain and, uh, and Europe. What are the plans uh, in 2024? Well, I have, a, I have a, an English heavyweight champion, you know, and uh, lots of other European stars, but uh, two champs now out of England. Yep. And that's another thing that was just happening here recently. We're, so we have these teams that build all their different pieces to the puzzle, right? Then we come together with me, and then I start trying to fit the pieces of the puzzle together, and I'm like, no, this doesn't fit here. That's gotta go. This, you know, that, that's how it all works. We had these fights that were going on that were like, wait, we're gonna do this where? No, we're going to England. We're going to England, so. We're going to England. <laughs> we're coming. And I, I got great fights lined up uh, for the UK fans. 
and I'm excited to get back there. I'm excited to get back to England. I haven't been to England in a minute, and, and I'm excited to get back there. When do you think the fans will get the official announcement as to when? Literally days, in okay. days. We're, 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 we're right there working on this stuff. We, we got some, some badass plans for England. Yeah. Okay. With that then in mind, are you thinking fight night or are you thinking number card scene is that you just said we've got two champions? Number card, buddy. Number card, pay-per-view. That's what I like. A great one. That's what I like to hear.
won my division, came up second place in the open weight division, lost to the heavyweight champion. Um, he won his division. Just small technical errors, man. That's the first time I ever submitted in a competition. It's bound to happen. The only person who doesn't lose is the person who stops competing. As long as I'm gonna keep on competing, that's gonna happen. But I had a good time doing it. My kids got to watch me compete. I had to go home to my wife. Can't complain. You're gonna put him where he's the weakest at and basically make it easy, make it look real easy. Do you think that's credited to your- I'm not, I'm not talking about even just, I'm talking about striking. Oh, you're gonna knock him out? Yeah, bro. He, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta knock. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. I mean, what's funny about it? You know, you're, you're funny. <laughs> but I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. I make you laugh. I'm here to fucking amuse you. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? I'm not just, you know how you tell a story, what? No, no, I don't know, you said it. How do I know? You said I'm funny. How the f am I funny? What the f is so funny about me? Tell me, tell me what's funny. Oh, you gonna knock him out? Yeah, bro. He, I gotta, I gotta knock. <laughs>